Hey all, I just wanted to uh, do a quick, uh, or maybe not so quick, uh, follow-up video on uh, how easy it is to change valve springs when you have the right equipment. Um, now of course I've got the head off the engine here which you know naturally makes it way easier nicely on a bench and whatnot but the only real difference is is that um, we're not dealing with compressed air um, and then I'm able to keep the valves up by placing a placing a pad underneath the uh, the head um, up against the engine uh, up against the engine up against the valves um, I've just realized this is going to be really difficult to do with uh, just one hand because I've got the camera in my hand um, but what you want to do is uh, lift the lift the uh, the head up and place a rag, a nice clean rag by the way, underneath the head on the valves and lay it down. So that way, when you compress the spring, the valve will stay in position. So what I'm using here is a Kentmore uh, is a tool made by Kentmore. Uh, it is a uh, J43. 649-12 and it's specifically made for the um, Ecotec LNF head um, and as you can see it bolts into the existing uh, valve cover um, fastening points here two rails here and here and then there are two rods which run across the length of the head and the idea is, is that we take this guy, which is part of the tool, sorry, let me zoom back here, this guy here, and uh, I'll do this one here because it's a little easier to get to using uh, just one hand. So this sits on top of the uh, valve retainer, <laughs> this is going to be fun with one hand, and then this block sits between the two rods here and then what you do <laughs> I can't do this in one hand hang on yeah. uh, and then what you do is you yeah, this is not going to work hang on one second hang on. let me get this set up mm. la 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 okay uh, and then as you can see this is now the block is up against the two rods the head of the tool is down against the uh, valve retainer and then what one does is screws down what I do is give it a couple of turns make sure the valve is staying uh, positioned up against the head the bottom of the head up against its uh, its seating point and then just continue to roll down you can go a fair ways down you're not going to do any damage and then what I do is I put the camera in the other hand normally I have two hands to do this this could be interesting actually um, and with a magnetic pickup device I then go in here and grab the keepers one there and uh, one there. So now we have the we have the two keepers here. Put those aside. Then what one does is unscrew and it releases the tension on the spring. Ah oh man, I wish I had a tripod. Let me do something else here. I got a vice over here. Let me put the camera in the vice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So you unscrew this guy, put it off put it out of the way, so to speak. Make sure you don't damage the uh, cam journals. Pull the spring out. And there's the old OEM spring. Uh, and in this case, we are installing SuperTech Dual. 82 pound, I believe. Okay, let's get the camera back here and get some oil off my hands. 
So now what we have is, if we can see that okay, uh, you'll see the valve here with uh, the valve seal. Now with these Supertech guys, uh, because they're dual dual spring setup. There is a little little guy here that it's basically a locator for the internal spring of the um, uh, the internal spring of the spring. If that makes any sense. What this does, put that guy down in there like so. It sits down nicely on top of the uh, locating portion just outside of the. Uh, valve seal. Then we take the Supertech spring and as you can see it's a dual setup here. These are beautifully manufactured. Just the, the quality looks fantastic. These are uh, titanium retainers too which are real nice. They're so light. There's no weight to them at all. Anywho, take the spring. Take Mr. Spring and we just pop it down into there like so and we take our titanium retainer slipper on top you can see that I'm going to put the camera down again um, I know it's not very good camera work I apologize for that but it is what it is but you can see how quick this can be done now, of course, this, if this engine was on the head, um, all we would be doing is having compressed air running into the cylinder. You bring the piston up to top dead center. Uh, actually, you don't even need to do that, to be honest. So now we crank down on this guy, like so. Get the camera back. Now, what we want to do is get the little keepers back. And what I do is I stole my wife's long um, tweezers and these are awesome for doing this job because these things are really fiddly. So what I do is I just pick this little guy up here and then we get in here and hopefully you can see this okay. I'm trying to camera work while I'm looking here so hopefully this goes in okay. And what you do is, you, oh, and I blew it. So you just pick it up again, and yeah. Of course, doing the camera work, it's made me look like a fool. Normally, I don't drop these at all. And try and get that guy on there. Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm looking like a dick now. This is the first time I've had any problems. So you just kind of pick it up. And because I can't see what I'm doing because the camera's in the way oh yeah I'm probably gonna have to start this whole video over again because I look like a tool get on there you little oh <laughs> uh, yeah uh, it's time time to edit it uh. I was gonna show you how quick and easy this was it's because I've got uh, really so I don't know why this doesn't want to go on there we go I finally got the little bugger on so anyway you got to be persistent at it normally normally they go on pretty slick um, oh, just drop my tweezers so what I do is pick up the second one. It does actually make it a little easier for these to uh, slide onto the valve stem slots if there's a little bit of oil on there as well. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera around to the other side here. And I don't even know if I'm recording this or not. There we go. That's how easy they're supposed to go on. Okay. So once, once the keepers are in place, you carefully raise the spring, keeping an eye on the keepers, making sure they don't jump. 
You do it slowly, otherwise you're going to end up throwing a keeper across the other side of the garage. And then remove the tool, like so, and there you are. One Supertech dual valve spring installed. And I've only got, uh, actually I've only got seven more to do because I've already done the exhaust side. Okay, thanks guys. Take care.